Um, today I want to give you some information how to update your Backlast server. These are all the directories and files belonging to your Backlast server. Normally you will find all these files inside your tables folder where the most installations are. So if you look in your tables folder and you find a server Excel or a backlash server DLL or a plugins folder. If you use a um, pop-up player or direct output, you'll also find a plugins folder. If these files are inside your tables folder, your installation is in the tables folder and you have to update your server inside the tables folder. What do you have to do? Uh, go to this page, github.com, vpinball, b2s, backlash, open the page, click on releases. This is already 1.41 and a few days you'll find 2.0 here. Download the zip and open the zip, take all the files from the zip and overwrite your old installation which will be normally inside the tables folder. Put the new files, the new exe, the new DLL and all the files you find in the zip and put it into your tables folder if the server is installed here. That's it. If you've done so, don't forget to rerun the register app again because there is a new right click magic in the new version of Backlash Server 2.0 and if you want to use this you will have to register it. If you did this you'll be able to do some magic things like Copy a screen rest template to your table and edit screen rest file on the fly. So, last word about the new folder. <coughs> you find a screen rest template folder inside the new installation. Um, Inside the screen rest template folder um, you find three files at the beginning. These are only templates. If you want to use this you will have to create your own templates fitting to your own system. How do I get a screen rest file? It's very easy. Just take your own screen rest text you'll find inside uh, your server installation folder which is normally the tables folder and copy it and rename it to something and at the end put a res instead of text that's it This is your these are your default settings for your system and you can put this file into your screen rest template folder to use it with the right click magic I already had shown to you. So now you know how to upgrade your server. Don't do any bullshit. And see you next time.